which is Strigabella here. Um, I am on my way to a doctor's appointment. Uh, I hate going anywhere because it seems like wherever I go is always at least an hour to get there. Um, very different than what I've been used to for the first 35 years of my life. Um, it just sucks. So, um, you guys know I haven't been making too many videos and that I've been kind of down lately. Um, it's just always this kind of dark, gray, cloudy, overcast weather lately. And it just doesn't um, lend itself to happy, cheerful days. And being who I am, um, I don't really like the day that much anyway. I like um, I like the bright, dark night sky with the bright uh, moonlight and stars and just looking up at the sky, um, especially in the fall on those days where you can first see your breath on those crisp nights of October. So winter, um, it just makes me exactly what the craft teaches. Um, I just really, literally go down to the underworld and learn, read, ponder, go within. Um, literally and figuratively because I hardly ever leave my house in the winter um, and I also tend to go within uh, myself um, but I've noticed that as I grow in the craft um, the more um, the more I grow in the to know part of our um, basic tenets of the craft, the less I have the need to say. Um, it's kind of ironic, and I think those of you who have um, practiced for in excess of 10 years probably would agree with me that the more you know, the less you feel the need to um, give an opinion or make judgments. I find that I almost have to say nothing at all for the most part because I, I've learned that people don't want to um, hear advice, they just want to be heard sometimes. Those people who um, are always talking about you know, their problem life and this and that and this happened and that happened and why does this keep happening over and over again and all of that. We have probably um, gotten to the point where we know um, we've gotten past ego and we've gotten past um, learning that the cycles that repeat each other, repeat themselves over and over are because of our ego and because of our mistakes. Um, and for those of you who believe in karma, it's kind of the same thing. Um, a lot of different um, traditions believe pretty much um, similar things. What goes around comes around, do one to others, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, for the most part, it's just human law. It's the law of our world. And um, you can't, you can only fix your, your own um, way you deal with things and the way that you think. You can't, you can't change others. Um, they have to want to do it for themselves. So anyway, um, I wanted to tell you guys, um, if you're looking for a good movie to watch, um, my 11 year old rented a movie the other night uh, called Lucy. And it's pretty cool. Um, it's a movie on um, this girl um, the scientists make a drug that um, is produced in tiny amounts in women during pregnancy, which is how, you know, the baby is able to grow in, within nine months, like bones and nerves and the brain and all that stuff um, so quickly like that and develop 
um, so fast. Um, but then it it stops. We don't produce it anymore. Um, but anyway, these scientists try to produce it in synthetic form or whatever, and to use it as a drug. And so um, there is this other this scientist who lectures. He spends his whole life studying the brain and the fact that we only use um, about ten percent. What about the other ninety percent? And animals. Um, look at what we accomplished with just using 10%, all the inventions and um, technology and all the stuff we've produced, and um, we only use that 10%. Animals only use like 3%, and um, the only thing that uses more than us is dolphins, and he was talking about how dolphins with that 20%, um, they have a whole language, communication, they ha have their own um, sonar system, like what we use in submarines, and um, stuff like that, but theirs is more sophisticated, and it's natural, they didn't have to invent it, so just that little extra percent um, produces, you know, a lot more intelligence and a lot more um, capability, so um, they they're trying to export this drug so that they can market it and they hide it in bags in implant it in these in four people's stomachs but Lucy um, when they're sending her back home gets almost raped and so the guy's pissed that she fought back and he starts beating her in her stomach so the bag opens up and she gets a huge amount of this drug and what happens is as it starts absorbing in her body it um, causes her to use more and more and more of her brain and so the whole movie shows little by little as the movie progresses what happens when she uses 20%, 30%, 40% and then at the end of the movie it goes up to 100% of her brain power. So as her brain power increases she's able to do um, these things like control um, electrons, electricity, she can make the TV, telephone, um, and she's really far away. You know, some of the technologies that we do in little bits, you know, like radio waves, um, electricity and stuff like that, but she's able to control it just with her mind. Um, she can, uh, as time goes on, she can see and feel the electrons. She can feel the movement of, um, like, everything. Um, she can feel gravity. She can feel light particles. Um, she all of a sudden, her knowledge increases to the point where she knows everything in the whole universe. She can see the past, the present, the future, and, um, it's a really cool movie. Um, it's... It's really especially cool, um, I think, for us because um, some of what used to be called witchcraft is science, you know, like the manipulating of um, certain energies, um, light, color. The reason that color and, um, you know, certain associations that we use in magic, it's not really science is because um, certain things have certain vibrations and certain vibrations um, affect energy in a certain way and so um, it was a really cool movie and uh, I'd be interested if they made a sequel to see what um, the scientist guy does with the information because at the end of it um, when she gets to a hundred she dies. She, she ceases to be um, in physical reality. But um, she passes her information of knowing everything because she tells the scientists that they're on to something. They just have to, they haven't got it all the way. And so she types really, really fast and makes this like huge computer to give him um, this information, which it could be used for serious evil or it can be used for good, but we don't know because the movie ends. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of close to my 
my appointment now. Um, it's just outside of Salem. I really wish I had more time today so I could you know, pop into Salem. I am so out of herbs. <laughs> it's not even funny. And I really need to order them or make a trip to Salem because when it comes to the point where my husband is complaining that we have no herbs in the house, that's when I know um, I'm seriously depleted. It's funny, my husband saying, we need herbs, we're out of herbs. Which is funny coming from him. <laughs> um, so yeah, tomorrow we're supposed to get two feet of snow. I am not looking forward to it on one hand. On the other hand, I, I am because I know we'll all be cozy, warm in our house. Kids won't have school and all of that, so that'll be nice. Um, so, hope you, um, you guys are all having a good winter. Um, and I will, oh, I wanted to make a haul video um, when I get home because I've noticed that um, the fashion world lately has been... Um, having a lot of really cool like symbols. Um, I actually watched the Da Vinci Code for the first time too. I know that you guys have probably all already seen it, but um, the whole symbolism stuff is really interesting to me. But I found some, um, a lot of clothing have like um, witchy symbols lately. And I got um, a bunch of shirts that have like stag horns on them and stuff. So I wanted to do a haul video on that, and I noticed that the 80s are just like, woo, they're back. <laughs> I kind of hated 80s clothes, I don't know about you guys. I I was just growing up in the 80s, so um, to me, I, I just hated that kind of fashion. But um, I finally have succumbed, as you can see, I have like a yellow and gold eyeshadow on today but, and a yellow, bright yellow shirt that like is backless. So that's about as far with the 80s stuff as I think I can go. Oh, and I guess I have dangly earrings again because those were out of fashion for a while. But um, it's weird how things, how um, fashion just comes back around like that. Um, people are even wearing like leg warmers and stuff and it's just so weird to me. But anyway, I hope you guys um, are having a lovely winter. Leave me messages, give me video ideas. Hopefully I will um, get out of my slump and make more. And um, blessed be. Bye.